The Saskatchewan government says it is moving forward with a $1.15 billion irrigation project. Now, that is despite the fact there appear to be a lot of unknowns about this project. The province still doesn't have a completed feasibility study. That's a review that was supposed to have been done to examine whether this project is actually a good use of public money. Now, some critics are worried that the government may be launching a poorly thought out mega project that'll cost taxpayers dearly, but will only benefit a few. I suspect that the ones that would benefit are tend to be larger farms and uh, more prosperous farms. The government's planning to put its irrigation project here in the Lake Diefenbaker area where these irrigation canals already exist. They were built way back in the 1970s but were never completed and have barely been used. So the plan is to fix them up and put more infrastructure around them and then use them to irrigate about 90,000 acres of nearby farmland. The government says irrigation will help some farmers increase their yield and it'll also help them grow specialty crops like hemp or potatoes. So one local farmer says Saskatchewan already does have a lot of irrigated acres and he points out that very few people are actually growing potatoes or hemp right now. The statistics don't prove out that they're making headway on these specialty crops or these high value crops. And one of the questions I asked at those open houses is how much of that specialty crop has to be grown to make that billion dollar investment make sense? Nobody answers that question. The province says it plans to cost share the $1.15 billion with farmers who tap into the irrigation system. But we still don't know how many farmers will take part or what they'll have to pay to tie into the system and what will actually be returned to taxpayers from this deal. The capital gains that comes from the government's investment in those farms doesn't come back to the taxpayers. It goes into the pockets of those 200 farmers. Years ago, the provincial government hired an accounting firm to do a feasibility study, but the province says it still doesn't have a completed report. Since 2020 and the announcement, they've commissioned millions of dollars in uh, engineering, economic, environmental studies, and so on. And we've yet to see any of those studies. And uh, so certainly I think a proper consultation should imply that as studies are conducted, they're released to the public and the public has a chance to, to um, review and comment. This was originally announced as a $4 billion project to irrigate 500,000 acres, and that's what the feasibility study was originally based on. The Saskatchewan government assumed at the time that the federal government would kick in millions of dollars, money that it wouldn't have to pay back. But that's not happening. Instead, Ottawa's just offering loans. So the province says it's been forced to shrink the project and redesign it. And it says that's why the feasibility study is not done. Now, despite this change, the province says it wants to start building next year. There's still no word on when that feasibility study might be done or if the public will ever get to see it. Jeff Leo, CBC News, Regina.